All right, well, it's January 1st, 2021, and I have, oh yeah, New Year's resolutions. Number one, I will post one video every day online. Uh, I want to have one profitable asset, actual asset, in my portfolio by the end of the year. Uh, I'd like to be back indoors this year. <laughs> and I actually had a list. Plastic is a lifesaver when you're dealing with Arctic temperatures in Northern California. What is with this cold snap? It's been like, you know, teens when it's normally like 30s and, you know, usually like 40s and 50s. <laughs> 30s are like a real cold day, but it's been like 17 degrees, 12 degrees, so thank God I got that wood stove, like that was a brilliant move, <laughs> if I didn't have that thing, yikes, well, I mean it wouldn't be that bad, honestly I don't even need it at night, the, I have a zero degree marmot, <laughs> it's a zero degree marmot bag, and a really good comforter. And two dogs. Um, and Athena sleeps in the comforter. She's cozy as can be. London um, doesn't apparently need anything ever, usually. Occasionally he'll come cuddle up close, but, you know, German Shepherd. They're actually built for this. He'll just pop down in the middle of the snow and just chill, as long as the sun's on him. <laughs> He's totally, like, he'll just, he'll take a nap there. I, I, I used to feel really bad every time I saw, like, uh, you know, a husky or German Shepherd or anything like that um, tied up outside in the winter. Um, but I used to have a husky when I was growing up. I guess I just forgot. They're really good with it. <laughs> They're sledding dogs, after all. Well, the huskies are. Um, but, yeah, he's totally chill. Aren't you, buddy? Yeah. London is such a cuddle bug. He's the best. Anyway, New Year's resolutions. I started listening to an audiobook, the only audiobook I ever bought. I bought it on Audible. Did I actually pay for it? Or I think it was like one you got for free with a credit or something. Anyway, I got Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And it's turning out to be a really kind of... <laughs> Well, it's a lot of stuff that I figured out on my own recently, um, as far as like establishing assets and investing and how to actually accumulate wealth as opposed to just survive as a slave <laughs> for whoever you're um, helping accumulate wealth. Um, and it's a very real, very practical look at the whole like how money works, which my parents didn't teach me anything about. I mean, they literally took out loans thinking that the end of the world was going to come any day and they wouldn't have to pay it back anyway. I'm not even joking. We were, like, in debt, like, as far back as I can remember. I remember being, like, five years old, and we had this house, and we had to move because they couldn't pay for it. <laughs> they literally thought the end was going to come before they would have to, like, start making payments on it. I don't know. It's fucking ridiculous stuff like that anyway they taught me money was evil the root of all evil and that to accumulate it or to desire it was evil <laughs> and it was a waste of time to establish any kind of um financial security in this world because armageddon was coming any day <laughs> that's what i spent the last 20, 30 years, 26 years of my life, kind of trying to get over. I didn't even know I had to get over it, really, until recently. So much of my life and horrible decisions I've made make sense now. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow, oh, damn. So, anyway, but this kid, guy, had a dad not as bad as mine. He was at least smart enough to tell his kids they should get a good education and get a secure job and stuff like that. But it turns out that even though it's like, you know, upper middle class struggle to keep up and they're always in debt.
financially at any time. Okay, so it's turning red to let me know that I'm almost out of time or something. Like battery low or something? Uh, anyway. I can really talk. <laughs> I have a lot on my mind, and I don't talk to anybody, ever. So, I probably shouldn't make this like a book. This is my... Well, it's not with the first one. I did one. I called it a vlog, or vlog, or whatever people... I don't think they even call them this. Did they even... I don't know. I haven't been keeping up at all. And everything changes super fast now, which is fine. I just haven't been keeping up. <laughs> everything gets faster and faster. It's still in the back of my mind. I'm like, it's because the end is coming any day now. <laughs> It's like, it's not my first choice in life, but I am unusually comfortable toughing it outdoors. <laughs> I get a lot of satisfaction out of it. There's something about everything you do being for your survival. <laughs> and like feeling the fruits of your labor in a warm fire at night and the ability to cook food and clean your clothes. And hot water is a big deal, man. You gotta have hot water. <laughs> It makes such a difference. There's like, it's like if you you want to like renew your appreciation for what you have, come live in a tent for like a year with nothing. And by the end of it, it probably wouldn't even. I don't know how long it would take. It probably wouldn't even take that long. You'd probably do it for like a week. Some people, <laughs> but the longer you do it, the greater your appreciation will become for everything that you have now. Because, like, literally, a hot towel is heaven. <laughs> I have never appreciated and enjoyed a wet, hot towel, clean towel ever so much in my entire life. It was, like, just all oh, the most beautiful thing on my face <laughs> and my hands. <laughs> and it's the only way to really get your hands clean. You, like, it's a necessity every day. Otherwise, you're going to have s such dirty hands. Because it's dirty work living outdoors. Just getting firewood is, like, phew, something. I don't have an axe. I don't have a saw. <laughs> I literally smash limbs with a rock. <laughs> the trick to finding dry wood that you can burn in the winter, though, is... Dead tree limb, low hanging dread, dead tree limbs on trees. <laughs> if they don't like, if they're dead and ready to go, they snap off really easy, and they haven't been sitting on the ground on the forest floor, so they're not soaking wet and moldy and all that stuff. Um, but you can get that stuff too and use it. But you gotta have a fire going already to dry it out <laughs> first. Or if the fire's going hot enough, honestly, you can throw anything in there. Like, once you've got a good fire going, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's wood, it'll burn. <laughs> so you got to keep a bunch of little stuff. So I keep mine, like, really organized. Oh, kind of really organized. And this is something you can only do, P.S., when it's, like, mega cold outside. And everything's, like, drenched and wet. And it takes literally an hour to start a fire, even if you're using dry cardboard <laughs> I'm not even joking dude that's how long it took this morning um, but yeah keep like little sticks there and big stuff there and then there's like medium stuff back there and I got some bigger stuff down on the bottom but you keep it all close to it but not actually touching the barrel like the legs don't get that hot um, they don't get hot at all, actually. Like, once you get, like, about six inches away from the thing, it's freezing. <laughs> it's so cold. I, you have no idea. Um, it's, like, really nice and cozy in here, though, the way I have this all set up. It's, um, like, I can actually get that thing going really good and close up part of the tent out there. And then it's, like, live, being in a house. Well, as far as, like, warm. Okay, it's going to stop on me. Alright, I'm gonna do one more segment. I gotta figure out why this only does five minutes at a time when it's flipped. Anyway. Where was I? <laughs> I 
it's warm, it's like a house, but not a house. Anyway, it gets really nice and cozy and comfortable and livable. But it takes all day <laughs> to prepare for that little few hours of comfort at night. If I want to wake up every hour, hour and a half, I can keep the fire going at night. But I've decided... What, the only reason, really, that I would want to do that in the first place is just because it takes so long to get it going in the morning. Oh, my God. It takes forever. And, like, the first thing I want in the morning is a cup of coffee, and I don't want it to take an hour. Well, you can bring a cook stove, which I have, but I only have, like, a little tiny bit of emergency fuel left. Um... I'm trying not to use that anymore because it's expensive and my income right now is negative. <laughs> I had more money to work with when I started this, but I thought I had bad timing when it comes to cryptocurrency trading. <laughs> it's not that I don't know what I'm doing. I just, when I have money, it's always at the tail end of a bull run. <laughs> and like, and, and then I allow myself to get caught up and, and I see it going down and none of the news outlets like tell you it's really a bear market right now. I love how they just all talk, oh, it's a bull market, bull market's going to continue, blah, 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 blah. And I... Anywho, I mean, it'll go up again eventually, but it's going to be a while, so I need to not use money. <laughs> Because what money I have is invested in, and if it comes out, and, and I've used a bunch as it is, I was trying to wait until I, like it got to a certain level before I bought some things that I needed to even be able to do this in the first place. Like I needed a new power bank, and I needed a new solar panel, and I needed a tablet. Period. Um, a bunch of other stuff so that I can actually make videos and upload things and whatnot. But I decided to invest all that money. I wanted to get a laptop. Um, and because it was the bull run was going and I did good for a minute. I should have just pulled it out then when I had like enough. I could have bought everything and still had more money than I have. <laughs> I had much better stuff, whatever. Anyway, I said, fuck it. Um, and so I had to spend some more money. So I have even less invested. It's disgustingly disturbing. I don't like to think about it. Can't get emotional about it. You got to keep your emotions out of trading. Anyway, stick to it. It's like, I know which which tokens are good and solid and have the best chances of, like, you know, actually increasing and blah, all that stuff. I'm really good at getting news and stuff like that, but ugh, I can go on for days. I don't I want this to be the last segment, so this isn't more than 15 minutes long. Anyway, so yeah, New Year's resolutions. Uh, post a video every day, establish one asset for my portfolio, uh, get back indoors, or at least a van. I, I kind of would almost prefer like a really nice, not even a van, but like a something mobile. I like moving around and going places. I want that solar camper van so bad. Oh my god! Actually, it would be really awesome. The yacht submarine, but <laughs> with the solar camper van, they can offer. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> someday. Anyway, <laughs> in virtual reality, maybe. Um, I want to design something new for my spring clothing line each month at least one thing i want to finish my computer science degree on sailor.org which reminds me i need to finish getting it signed in on my tab and i want to post one blog every day i have a website i have two websites um yeah so that and i don't know about this get a job at a thrift store that pays in clothing it's a whole idea they have really nice stuff at the thrift stores here that you resell on facebook like holy crap Maybe. I don't know. I've been having bad luck with business ventures. <laughs> That's the two websites that aren't income generating in any way whatsoever. But I still have them. There's a WordPress blog and a clothing, active clothing, fujashi.fashion is online. People can buy stuff there right now. Go there. Help me get out of my tent. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. I got like 20 seconds left on this thing and it's going to cut me off again. I got to figure that out. I'll see you tomorrow because I'm going to post one video every day this year. Happy New Year's, everybody.